What is up guys, it's me Zane back here doing another Clash of Clans presentation video. In this video, it really makes a big impact in the content, half of the content that I do. With these new updates and sneak peeks coming out before the update, it gives me a really opportunity to explain to you the basics of it. Let's get on into this guys. I'm going to be explaining to you what the Clash of Clans team Clash of Clans team said A major focus area in the coming update effects how people can play Clash of Clans every day that means that you got it yeah, you got it Improving the shield system is a complex and Deculate job. That means they're going to be changing it, guys. So get ready. So upcoming update includes a four four package of changes designed to make village events fairer, play seasons more flexible. Revenge. Accepting a multi- 
Sky Flare or Revenge Attack, while Shielded will deduct three hours from the remaining shield time. Wow, that's crazy. Additional attacks while shielded will deduct increasing amounts of shield for four hours, five hours, etc. You get the drift. in the current system. Getting a shield is unreliable. So don't go with it, guys. Others might not attack for a long time. And you might get you might not get a shield even when they do. A good defense can force you to defend again. Low destruction means no shield and multiple defenses in a row. Shield timing is flexible. It is inflexible. The shield you get is often too long or too short. For what you need to set your daily schedule. Wow, that's going to affect YouTube and my last recording, um, but not really the recording part. Forgetting a shield can leave you stuck in a new one. Starting class five minutes too late can mean a, 12, a new 12-hour wait. Shields are large. A large shield is often a poor tactic, even if you would want to attack. Shields are given to players who don't actually defend. This hurts matchmaking. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.